Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Captain Mary Penguin here. I'm going to teach you guys how to get movies on your computer or on your device for free. I have my iPhone right here. Alright, so what you're going to want to first get, you're going to want to go to vShare. You can go to vshare.com. I also have this in the description. You can, uh, if you have a Windows laptop, you can just click download and it'll pop it right here. I already have it, so I'm gonna cancel that. You're just gonna go through the regular setup, and it'll set it, on, set it up on your computer, and it'll look like this right here. This little feature helper right here. Alright, so next you're going to go and download iFunbox. You're gonna click download iFunbox Mac plus window. And then you're going to click on either if you have Mac or Windows, you're going to click on the version 3.0 version. Uh, or if you have Mac, it's going to be the version 1.8. I already have it, but I'll show you what happens when you download. You're going to download it. It'll take about... I have a pretty decent computer, so it'll be fast for me. But again, I already have it right here. That's what it'll look like once you get it. Then, also, you're going to want YouTube. You're going to click... I'll have this in the description just as well as the other two links. Click Get YouTuber for Windows. Get YouTuber for Windows. And there you go. I don't know why I left the phone download, but it doesn't matter. I already have that one right here. And then, last but not least, I don't believe you need this, but it's a very good program just in case you're trying to do other stuff like get an emulator or something. It's a WinRAR. I'll also put this in the description. They have the 32-bit and 64-bit. If you don't know what your computer is, just go 32-bit. You can go check, I believe, if you go to your file explorer, this PC. I do this again. You go like this, properties. There you go. See, I got a 64-bit right here. You can see a 64-bit operating system. All right, now I'll continue on. See, you probably won't need WinRAR for this, but if you need it. Alright, so, as you can see, I do not, my vShare was in here on my uh, phone, but, a lot of the time so, but I just, I, uh, deleted it off my phone just for this tutorial. I'll show you what to do. You're gonna click vShare helper, it's gonna open up, you're gonna click yes. In case you have that warning things up. So it'll be detecting device like that. And we're gonna go like this. And it's starting to install right here. You can see that it's installing right there. See it popped up right there. Alright. So it'll, it'll set up the VShare SE on your phone. And what you're gonna wanna do from there is you're gonna wanna go to apps on the VShare on your computer. Because you can't. I don't believe you can download movie box on here from this right and this feature. You're gonna go down to see right here on the left side I'll have movie box. If it's not there you can search movie box. Alright, and there it is. There's a movie box. You just click download. It'll start downloading. This app is already downloaded. I have it I had it on my iPhone before. You're gonna click yes, it's gonna start downloading, you'll see it on the bottom. It says one downloading task, and then it'll oh, show up. It'll probably show up right here once it's done on my second page. So it's almost there. Right there. See, it showed up. Okay. Now next, we are going to want to do. You can close out a V share for now. You're gonna want to open up. Oh wait, yeah. All right, go to settings because it'll tell you right here. And if you try to click movie box, it'll bring up this little thing. It'll tell you that it's untrusted. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your settings. You're gonna to go to general. So I'm in general right now. You're gonna to wanna to go to you're gonna go down to profile and device management. Click that. And then you're gonna find developer apps, click that. That'll be where movie box is. You're gonna click trust. It'll bring up this whole page. And you're gonna hit trust again. So now it's trusted and you can go into it. 
So what we're gonna do is click movie box. It'll open a movie box for you. Uh, Alright, now it's got all these different, you're gonna wanna let it load up and stuff. It'll bring up all these ads and junk. Alright, close that. that. Alright, so this app does update very fast, like it's got 70 updates today. Alright, here's all the like TV shows and junk. You get the little drop drop down menu, you push the top left part. You can click movies, you can click on TV shows. Yeah. Alright, so what you want to do, on instead of don't download anything yet on your phone, you want to go open uTorrent and open Funbox or iFunbox. You don't need to, to open uTorrent actually right now. I'm going to open it just, just because I want to. Open iFunbox. And sometimes if you go to File Browser, you click User Application. And this is if you want the MP4 version of the video. You're gonna click that, you're gonna see where it says movie box right here. You're gonna click on movie box, open sandbox. Alright, sometimes it'll just have the movie box file right here. It won't have any of these uh, documents library TMP. Just restart your device, restart your computer, plug your device back in once you start your computer back up, and then open up on box again. Now what you're gonna do is Follow me right here so you can get these. Open library, you're gonna double click on library, double click on torrents, double click on config, and then double click on torrents again. And this is the page you wanna begin. All right, so I don't have X-Men Apocalypse right now. So yeah, I'm gonna download X-Men Apocalypse. I'm gonna click on X-Men Apocalypse. It's gonna bring up this little, well, it's another ad. Alright, so I'll bring up this page and it'll say 1.22 gigabytes. Just click download. So it'll say it's in queue. I'm gonna go back to movies here in the top left. Click this right here. Then go down to queue and it'll bring this up. It'll show that it's download. Do not wait for this to finish downloading on your phone. Click refresh on iPhone box and it'll bring up a torrent. You can either double click on the torrent right here or drag it on your desktop. I'm gonna drag it to my desktop. Then you can minimize this and then you can go ahead and delete it off of your phone. Delete XMA Apocalypse from download. Unless you want it on your phone too, but I'm showing you how to get it on your... If you want it on your phone, all you have to do is let that finish downloading and you're done. But if you want to get it on your computer, you can go ahead and set your phone aside for now drag x Men Apocalypse over here and then double click on it it'll open up uTorrent and it'll bring up this little page right here where it says sample of okay, v and x Men, x Men Apocalypse click OK don't do anything there alright so now once it says it's availability is up it's starting to download right click on it go to bandwidth allocation and high to make that like the highest priority so it'll download faster Alright, and then you're gonna just let it down. This is a pretty big download, so I'll just probably speed this up while I'm editing. It sure takes its first time, but it's got right, so I Oh by the way, you can also if you want to, you can go to the uh, V share again, open it up. And um, la la notifications don't allow, don't care. All right, you can just skip past that first page if it brings up the uh, must-have thing. If you want to, you can like just go around searching. You can get like Minecraft and junk here. I already have Minecraft, so I'm not gonna get it. But you just hit get right there, and then it'll show up the downloads. You go all the way back to this main page right here. You can hit this little drop down area on the top right and then you're gonna hit it. download or not download it. you're gonna hit download it or downloading it's gonna be the top left Oops. top left is gonna be downloading middle is where you've already downloaded you can also use this to update other apps that you have like uh there was one me to update like movie box and stuff the other day but yeah just 
pretty cool that you can do some fishing for that stuff. They have a ton of apps on here that you can go through. Check it out, it's pretty cool. They have a P they have paid apps on here somewhere. I know you can get like the top apps on the app store and stuff. Like Minecraft is the top app right now. You got Minecraft story mode, Lumen Tower Defense 5 and stuff. Ooh, it's pretty decent. Decreasing in megabytes per second as it gets closer to the end, so it'll take a little bit longer than you expect, but it's alright. It's supposed to do that. Alright, it's gonna start seeding. What you wanna do is don't, if you wanna seed it, I mean, I don't want to. Just come right here to this little box right here, and it'll say stop torrent, click that, and it'll be finished. And if you wanna just make this process faster, right click, go to open containing file, uh, folder. And it'll bring up where the X-Men Apocalypse is, but you can close that out of eTor now. And if you don't want to do that, you can go to File Explorer. If you want to know the actual way to get to it. File Explorer, Downloads, and then you find the uh, folder that says X-Men Apocalypse or whatever movie you've downloaded. And then you drag that out to your desktop if you want to, or you can open it up in there. And then you just open that up. What we're going to do is, I do not keep the samples, I just take the uh, movie, drag it out, it's going to be the one that's actually two, uh, two hours, an hour long, if you click on it, it'll actually show. I'm not going to let it play at all. See, this one's two hours and 11 minutes long. Some movies, they'll have like Chinese or Japanese or whatever it is, subtitles, I don't know what kind of subtitles they are. And what you can do with the rest of the folder, since it's just a sample in there, I just like to delete that folder and just get rid of it. Alright, what I now I have a uh, movies folder set up right here of some of the movies that I've gotten. I've gotten all the Pirates of the Caribbean, Captain America, all that junk. And you can come right here and just drag it right here. So now you have a full movie. And if you, again, if you want to adjust on your phone, you go onto the movie box app, open up the movie box. You can find the movie that you want once it's all loaded up. Of course, another ad. Uh, ad. Yeah. We're gonna go to movies, or even if you want to, there's TV shows too. You can search through TV shows. Yeah, I know one of the apps I used to have have like had like music and stuff, but you find whatever movie like if you're a searcher for Pirates of the Caribbean, you just click the little search button up here. You click Pirate. Alright, then it's got all four of the movies right now, right there. And 
You just click on the movie. My strangers died. Oh crap. Ads again. Yeah, this movie this movie box app does have a lot of ads. So they're little five second ads, but they're they get annoying after a while. You just find it, click download, and it'll show up in your queue uh, queue folder. Once it's done downloading there, you go to your my downloads. There'll be two things up from Q, and then it's right there. That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, hope it helped you out a lot with getting movies and stuff. So y'all have a fun day. I'll catch you guys later. As always, stay with me.